Hello, kings, queens, nerds, and geeks. Powdered Milk here, and welcome to Dream Daddy, the dad dating simulator. Now, guys, this was apparently this was apparently suggested to be my wife, and I have seen some I have known that YouTubers have played this in the past, but I never actually watched the Let's Play, so I don't know what I'm in for. So, apparently, this is a dad dating simulator. I'm I'm guessing this is just Honey Pot with dad jokes, except. Not pornography, hopefully. At least I think. I don't know. I've never, I've never seen the game, so <laughs> I didn't even look at the fucking. Uh, I didn't even look at the parental rating of this game. I'm just gonna do this full circle and feel this is gonna be a bit awkward playing this game. But it's about dating dads. I'm not gay, but seriously. So let's just get on with a new game. Dad tip number twenty-three: Take care of your health while you're still young. Dad tip number 20, keep your word. Um, dad, still a dad tip. Oh, oh crap, not responding, hold on. Oh, here it goes, Amanda. Dad, dad, wake up. Uh, wake up. I finally opened my, I finally opened my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooting a, mo a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Morning, Amanda, panda. What? Actually, that's kind of cute. Manda Panda. I want to start calling you Panda. Morning, Manda Panda. Aww. Yikes, Dad. Breathe. Brush, go brush your teeth. Dad tip number 40. Managing debt is just part of the... Ah, damn it. Dad tip number 51. You can save your bookmarks directly to... Okay. Dad tip number 89. Look at the situation possibly. Dad tip number 47. Don't skip the court. Oh! I can customize my character! Oh, that's awesome! Uh, let's be honest. I am not the best looking guy. Oh my god. Um, I'm gonna go with something more accurate. I'm still hairy. But, I am honestly, believe it or not guys, I am fucking hairy as shit. And I'm more pale skin than that. There we go. Fucking white as hell. Now, head. Now, I wanna try to find the pointiest looking head. Not that, that's too broad. There we go. I'm, I, uh, there we go. Now, I don't like the current hairdo I have, so I don't know uh, what to do about this, so... Uh, I wish I had a coin. Oh, here we go. Here's a dime. Heads, I go with my current hair, go, try to mimic my current hairstyle, or B, go with the hairstyle I would I can do what I want. Oh, sorry. Heads, my hairstyle. Tails, random hairstyle that I would want. Okay. Tails, I can pick. Okay. So let's try to make my dad's hair goofy as shit. If I could fucking Goku. Goku, space warrior hair. I couldn't put Super Saiyan. Okay, uh, swoopy hair. Uh, uh, okay. Not that hair. Um, I don't want to go with dreadlocks. I wish I could move that faster by scrolling. Um, this is hair I wish I had. So here we go. I'm going to make it red. And why is it still blonde right there? Uh, anyway, eyes. Oh god! Oh senpai! Luckily, I'm wearing my senpai as fuck T-shirt today. So <laughs> bad. <laughs> Those, oh, oh, honey chat. Okay, that's getting weird. Oh, what is these? Uh, it was like, hey, no, it's hi. How are you? <laughs> uh, that's the end. That's like more how. It's like, oh, I love acid. <laughs> the, the hearts for eyes is killing me. He's like, hey, you were looking to get in my van? No, no, no. He's like, oh. Okay, that's, but um, let's try to find eyes and super. Hey, look, space warrior eyes, tin tin eyes, unturned eyes, wide eyes, snake eyes, slick eyes. Sinky eyes. I'm just gonna go with, I'm, I'm gonna go with the light blue color of my eyes, but I'm gonna try to find something with my style. It's so hard to pick these eyes. You know what? I'm gonna go with the white eyes, because I, I have very white eyes, and I make the weirdest expressions with my white ass eyes. So let's pick up the news. I like how this entire part of the first five minutes of the game is just me designing my hair. That, uh, that looks right, I think. Uh, I'll go. Actually, wait, go back. That one, that one right there. No, mouth. 
Those lips are fucking luscious as shit. Am I gonna be a drag queen or something? Is that what I, a character is? A drag queen? Uh, oh, the cat is fake. Uh, what the fuck? You know what? I'm gonna go with the cat face, because it looks... No, no, no. I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Brows. The eyebrow. Those fucking eyebrows. Honestly, guys, my eyebrows are not very noticeable, but I do have eyebrows. For the longest time, I, this is a true story, that I didn't have... I, I didn't... It looked like I didn't have eyebrows because of how light-colored they were, and my red hair wasn't as dark as it was back then. Now, anyway... I don't have a mustache anymore, but I want this kind of fucking beard. That's what I want. And guys, I actually look good with a beard, believe it or not. But I remember I, there's some pictures somewhere uh, about with me with a beard. Now let's find some glasses. There we go. A mouth. No way, we did that. Uh, piercings. I hate piercings. Clothing. Cheeseburger. Well then, that, uh, that just says something. I don't know what. I. <laughs> the eggs for nipples. I love it, but I'm not going to. <gasps> suits! I love suits, guys! S s man, I know this. I know I wear t-shirts and hoodies and shit like that all the time, but suits. I love suits, okay? I just love suits, and oh, look, they have a large selection of suits. You know what? I'm gonna go with this, because I love the navy blue, and I always look good in dark, so I'm gonna choose this. I kind of look like a business dad. Now let's go. Looking good, Daddy. Uh, powdered milk. Uh, fuck. I, I said pill. Uh, powdered and gotta go milk. There we go. Be that dad. Hang on, Daddy. What the hell is this? Dad tip number twenty-nine. Medicine is not allowed. Uh, always the best medicine. Dad tip number thirty. Always bring a war chest. Wait, what? Dad number two, <laughs> number 82, eat balanced meal every day includes that. Ah, damn it, I can never finish it. Did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done, I think. I like how we're the milk family. Okay. Search around the room and look. It looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except one. Wait. Wait, Stragler. Hmm. What, what's in it? Look into the box and shut. I see a bunch of old photos of little photo albums. Hey. Whoa, I haven't seen those in years! Uh, <laughs> you, put, you put the dusty old albums on the top shelf and a pile begins to look, looking through it. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. Uh, there goes your ego too. Uh, I'm gonna go with Mother. The only way your mother and I would get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you start crying again. Well, that's awesome! I, come on! She wanted to be cool! Is that so wrong to want to be cool? Nice. Halloween when you... When you were maybe flout... Four. <laughs> Why is a flower I can't in English? How do I mean when you were maybe four? Oh my god, that dragon costume! You couldn't decide between the princess and the dragon, so we went with both. Pri princess dragon. That sounds awesome. I'd do that with my daughter if I had one. Guys, I want a daughter. So you guys know. In the comments, guys, if you, you would, if what, what child, if you guys wanted to see me have a child, what would you want to see me have, a son or a daughter? Because I preferably want a daughter, my wife wants a son. It's kind of a com competition to see. So when she does get pregnant, that's what we're going to decide. She wants a son, I want a daughter, and that's that. Why do I remember crying in the baby costume? Uh, uh, I saw, you saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside a dragon's mouth was... Realizing their greatest fear, I think. Hmm. Right, right, yep, definitely re repress that memory. And this is you in your horse face. Is oh, it's so cute! I don't know why, I just always imagine myself, like, having a daddy's girl, you know, um, you know, you know, you know, holding her hand across the street, teaching her how to ride a bike, and stuff like that, you know, um, you know, seeing her off on her first date or the prom, um, also, I want to be that dad, don't, don't judge me, but I want to be the dad to scare the shit out of her boyfriend, that's what I want to be, I'm probably not intimidating, but I'll find a way. <laughs> dad, I believe you named your plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. Mm -hmm. I don't think 
think that was his. Amanda unjust with the photos and he quickly snatched it away and hold it above over her head with the superior dad arms. <laughs> superior dad arms! Yes! I love it! Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later on the road. Mm. Go ahead and try me. I've seen those pictures of you in a sky in a ska band. Ouch, kid. The ska ominous manifesto ha had a chance back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> I love it already. I haven't even gotten to the real part of the game. I took. You look off in the distance. Your room is in some out the ad hor or in section. Hey. It's Emma P. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I mean, I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honestly, I promise wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Ugh. Dad, Emma R has been the best friend since I was seven. Give me that add a little bit. Of, give that a little bit of effort. <laughs> All right, Emma P was the one who uh, uh, do I get to choose? Pooped her pants during the sleepover. Fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station. <laughs> Lighter fluid tennis ball, tennis racket, right? Dad, that was you. Oh, come on! Play <laughs> <Yeah>, I would! <laughs> Alright, probably not, but... <laughs> uh, I was six then when you did it. Okay, Amanda, I wasn't aiming for the police station, but I just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I had wanted to hit the flaming tennis ball. Yeah. Now, okay, uh, before we continue, I want to tell you guys a quick story. When I was, uh, 12, I think, before I had moved to Texas, I lived in Arizona again. And I lived in Arizona, I lived in Arizona before, until I lived in Arizona, I, my home is in Arizona now. But when I lived there, I actually went to a friend's house. And me, he was a pyromaniac, and I, I was just going with it. So this is what we did. We lit, t uh, golf balls on fire, don't ask how we did it. And we teed them off. We literally took the golf club, flit, it, lit, lit the tennis balls on fire, and chucked them. We made sure they didn't hit any houses or anything. So, it was safe. It was sort of safe. But it was fun as hell. Like, that is a legit awesome story I had. I think the guy, the kid name was Alex. Or, I don't remember anymore. It's been a long time. I haven't talked to these guys in a long time. And they didn't believe me either. <laughs> anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She will get a kick out of it. The first photograph uh award you ever won. Yeah, but this was like a twenty dollar gift card to make Fridays. You kidding me? That's like a combination of TGI Fridays and McDonald's. What like did you just like they went to fusion? Ha! Yeah, okay. And when you got the food poisoning from the cheesy to or or data blast, I think you mean food poisoning. You know, with the Z, Dad. Still can't drive past McFridays without gag. Ah. Still proud of you, though. <laughs> Amanda reaches deep in the box and pulls out the last photo. Ah. Neither of us say a word, and you stare at the photo for a long time, long moment. Ah. You finally decided to break the silence. Um, that was the day you were born. We got into the car and that accident right. I, we got into a car accident right at the hospital parking lot. It wasn't or anything big, just a fender bender. But of course, it was freaking out. I was freaking out, and the little old, old lady who c crashed into us was freaking out. And I didn't know what to do. But your mother, oh man, she holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes. The calmest I've ever seen her and said as it's okay. It's gonna be okay. She was right. I stared at the picture I stared at the picture long, maybe too long. I miss can't even imagine what it must be like for a man. Ah. She pats me on the back. Mm -hmm. Come on, Pops. We gotta finish uh, finish packing. The moving van won't oh, wait long. Forever. You're right. Amanda and I pile into the car and we take a look past the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your mother and I bought out this place for about as 20 years, for almost 20 years, 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had a very long, uh, very strong arms. Yeah, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be the robot who ba breaks windows? You are a very imaginative child. <laughs> Why is- This child is awesome! Hey, remember when I broke the back window? We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. <laughs> I wanted to know! 
<laughs> I'm not even- I'm almost 20 minutes into this. And this is like- I'm not even playing it. I'm just going into the prologue. And we have plenty more stuff up for me to break in the new place. Memories to make- ache, ache, and stuff to break. <laughs> I'm crying. I'm crying because this is great. This is beautiful and, and funny at the same time. Oh, we sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in the house and I will forever hold a place in my heart. But it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving bit and begins to pull away and you get in the car, position follows it. I watch your house, our old house, disappear in the rear view mirror. So, so what? Mm. So sell me... It, so sell me or our cool, our cool new pal. I clear my throat and do my best in a cheesy announcer voice. Nestle, hold his beautiful cinematic downtown up on bay. Our new house features um, washer and dryer hookups, two car garage, multi places to multi places to sleep. Hmm. Now, honestly, you, two car garage. Uh, garage big enough for not uh, one, but two whole cars. As well as a room for all my very important dad kids and my motorcycle. My sick hog. <laughs> oh, sweet old steel pony. <laughs> dad, I'll motor, but <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> two wheel transportation station. <laughs> dad, this is full of dad jokes. And I love it! I used to hate my dad's jokes, but now I'm understanding why he told me. I have never ridden a motorcycle in my life, to be honest, I'm afraid of him. Anyway, I'm also similar than the last one. Almost smaller than- it's also smaller than the last house. Cozier, one might argue. No- oh, spin. I think it's great. We won't get closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to. I don't have to waste gas. I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know. Amanda, you know you're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Huh? Not gonna happen, Pops. I can't even drive! <laughs> be honest, I, I- technically I can't legally drive. I can drive, but I can't legally drive. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn in their attitude. I don't know how to do that either. Have you met my neighbor- met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighbors seem pretty quiet. So you won't have a case of rowdy teens off your lawn. You know the very- uh, er, the very teen you mock when you say that, huh? Oh. In my last- I'm in my last year of high school, I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're- you're real- oh. Don't you dare, senior. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> dad jokes! I love them! Uh, Dad, I know you're, where you're- I don't- Dad, I know where this is going, citizen. I just gotta ignore that. But I don't- I won't forget it. So, what's- What's the item number on the new house agenda? Well, first, we need you to forge a path through the solid wall of blocks that's blocking the living room. I still ha have a install a washer dryer and we need grocery to go grocery shopping. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're gonna uh, take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We're gonna get some work done and then check the area out. We'll pull up to the house. Step outside. The lawn is freshly mowed and, and the for sale sign and is still in the yard. Hiya! And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. I got a problem with a toy! I'm so proud. <laughs> Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. Uh, I need to really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. Um. Uh. Dog parks! Yes! You know what? Now you think of it, thank, thank you for mo moving us to an area where a dog person ratio is very high. I only want the best for you. I hope you prepare for the frequency of which I interrupt conversations and yell, DOG, and a rocket away a up. My wife, right there. I am not joking. Oh wait, no. Not just my wife. Boss. My buddy Boss and my wife will stop to go pet dogs. I am not joking. This is a thing. Although, I like dogs too, but I'm just not that enthusiastic about it. I love dogs, yeah, don't get me wrong. But I just don't go stop in the middle of what I'm doing, especially if it's important, to go pet a dog! Me and 
I mean, you do that a lot. Oh. <laughs> hey, it's a dog! Wait, false alarm. There's just a funny shaped rock. What? <laughs> I can't even get into the game yet! If you want to see a real dog so bad, let's go to the park around the corner. Dad, tip number 66, the only way you're cutting the first is to make sure you have health insurance. Sp spend less money than you make. Well, that's common sense. Spend le less money than you make. Drink a full glass of water in the morning to help you wake up. <gasps> Next, end your cut. I don't know really cut worth watching. Nothing can beat reading and print. I mean, I'm going to be strolling through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the streets. The flowers are bloom. And the fans are over I brought the kids to the air. The place is nice. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good night, right, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in the scroller over there? Government co operative. Hmm. <laughs> we're in, we're in, we're on to you, baby. We'll walk a while. Eventually, end up in a small park. Toddlers chase each other. Play on dog shit apes sizes to her arm around the glass. And pretty, it was pretty crowded. But Amanda spots a nice empty bench, and you start to make your way over to it. When heads up, ow! A frisbee suddenly hits you in the face. Wolf. A court argue with a. Neat plaid ha handkerchief around his neck, about bounds over me, and wags his tail. Hello! Orf, orf! Well, he runs around in circles and nudges my leg on his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. I pull upon you, Leo, with him, you dog. Sorry, dog. <laughs> well, uh, um, do you have tomorrow's lottery numbers, Bork? Bork! Got it. This definitely could have caught ca ca that. The guy in the Hawaiian shirt jogs over us and takes his frisbee from me. That guy! You know, frisbees are traditionally uh, caught with your hands, not your face. Uh, um, it's a new technique! Uh, it's like disc golf. The goal, the goal is for my, is my, if, but the goal is my, it's like disc golf, but the goal is my face. Look, looks like, <laughs> like you're winning. Ah. Ha, you're messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. Oh, god! Okay, I guess this is the start. I'm Powder, and this is my daughter Amanda. You look over to Amanda and find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Hi. Hmm. Your dog's cool, and old Maxwell sure loves the the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here. It's such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll, and the young girl sits in the checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head and pull, let's say down on her head it's over to us. Whoa. This is Daisy. She's reading the brother's uh, karma. I cannot read that. Uh, her teachers tell me she is a reading comprehension skills in high, higher schools. How old is she? Uh. Ten. She's a precious little youngster. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> a natural dad instinct kicks in. I must dr brag about your daughter's accomplishments. Oh no. It's happening. Brian. Oh! <laughs> oh god, this is touching all my gaming buttons! Uh, go on, Daisy, tell them about yourself. Daisy, I, um, that's my girl. Powdered Amanda, get in there. Okay, okay. HP 80. <laughs> HP 80. Uh, brag. Amanda, here is just a recent one along the photography award. Wow, congratulations. Loses 10 HP. Daisy actually went. Just won the statewide poetry contest. You lose 15. What? Uh, uh, item? Oh! Uh, uh, spelling bee photo. Uh, congratulations, Amanda. Brian, hopefully, will be a. Uh, yikes, you lose XP. Daisy just start our weekly chess club. Um, ah! Ah, why am I losing? No, this is cannot be happening. Uh, brag. Uh, uh, sold a. Oh no, I'm losing. I don't want to lose. Item. Um, uh, grad card. Uh, okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Awesome, Brian loses 285 HP. Okay, lose five. I'm doing good now. What? What? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, brag. No. Dang! Oh, I lose. Uh, injury. You're being such a great as a winner. <laughs> so I'll take you guys and you to the neighborhood. We just moved in. Do you live around here? I like how the dad instincts is immediately trying to challenge each other's daughters. Like, all right, we live in the cool de sac down next to the coffee shop. What's the coincidence? There, 
That's where we live too. Small world, yeah? Daisy and I are a little re ant style ha house in the corner. I don't owe that house. It was just like ours. It's slightly bigger and better or landscape. Does this guy have an out, out have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't want to take up uh, your more your time, but really nice to meet you guys. I'll have to stop by some point. I am definitely but <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Bye. Bright and Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell happy trotting along the toe. Oh god, my voice is getting hurt. I need some Kool Aid. Hold on. Ugh, okay. Do you get the feeling that that guy was trying to one up us? Mm. Trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of the, a thing with horses. Shame that didn't pan out. Could you major in comprehensive horse studies? It's not too late in the minor horse creative writing. Yeah. Too close to uh, the truth, Dad. Let's uh, us never speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington and the Grave in the epic seven parts of Amanda Milk. <laughs> Amanda Milk! That actually sounds kind of cool! Amanda Milk! Oh my god. You see, guys, I always wanted. At one time, I wanted to. At one point in my life, I wanted to name my daughter Nazu after a language I had. It was a word meaning the nice one in the language I wrote. And I'm not joking, guys. I got bored in my life. And made a wrote a language. It's not complete, but hey, I was writing. But I named her Nazu, and I gotta imagine it. Uh, I, what does that mean? So, what does that mean that make her Nazu milk? <laughs> I, I don't know what I'll name my daughter yet. I'm just gonna wait till it just clicks. So, we live off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. Well, uh, let's go to the coffee shop. I gotta get my hands on a nice up cup up of old bean juice. I'm gonna be useless all day. I think we passed the coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we can check that out. Let's do it! Oh man, I'm playing way too long. Uh, treat people better than they treat you. The first is the worst and the second is the best. Third is one of the hairy, hairiest chest. Does that make me? Oh god, guys, I have a hairy chest, by the way. Uh, <laughs> We walked out of the coffee shop in the place to the corner. Right. Man, this is such a convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. Huh? What's wrong? Wait, I had to... What's the... I gotta check this. What is this? Oh, I can save. That's good. Oh, um... Oh, shit, I didn't get to read that. Uh, would like some place with coffee, some corner, but I can cover those people. At least we need some random guy isn't going to come up and sit in the recliner next to me. And I won't feel like a little weird and as technically a stare hit the table much with a mm -hmm. personal zone. And what's the etiquette when you're having a dirty mug? Is there a bin? I can't continue reading this. Or do you leave it there? Feel your face flush, hot with the shame, and consider the possibility that there's a fact that there's been somewhere just out the side. Now, this is a, now you're the jerk who left their mug. Ugh. Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda! Why is this, like, referencing my life? Like, I am very antisocial, guys. It's kind of weird me doing YouTube videos. I'm very antisocial. I never really like going out. Boz is trying to convince me to socialize more often. I'm not joking. He's trying to teach me how to socialize. I am not... This is a legit thing he's trying to do. Because I don't particularly know how to do a normal conversation. So, inside the coffee shop is an incredibly warm, inviting, vinyl records, and oh, whoa, vinyl. This place actually looks cool, okay? It actually looks nice. And my brother would get a kick out of the purple. My brother's favorite color is purple. Uh, welcome to the coffee shop, guys. How's it going? What's with, what's with the name? Hey. Oh, it's, uh, kind of dumb. Hey. It, it's, me it's mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time. I suppose it's still a good idea because the business is still running. Mm. But people ask me the question at the time, and I give them the same answer every time, and now I'm standing here rambling. And I'm just sure I'll all get more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking. But man, and <laughs> we can't stop. Hey. So, what will it be? Huh. I like how these dads are suddenly getting attracted to each other. I scan the chalkboard menu and immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a... a black cop. A classic. I don't get it. <laughs> it's a pun. Godspeed. You, uh... uh you, uh, Black Emperor... Er, is a pretty amazing and influential progress rock that... Bang, I'm doing that thing again. But coming right up. Mm. And for you? 
I'll have my chill down. What the oh. fuck oh, is that? I don't even drink coffee. In reality, guys, I don't like coffee. Uh, coming right up and what? The small, medium, or biggie smalls? Biggie smalls? Oh my god, I remember from, um, uh, um, Medea Goes to Jail, there was biggie smalls. Oh god, uh, medium. Wait, biggie smalls, big or small? I should change that, shouldn't I? Uh, Max sets out the coffee. Hey, since it's video, let's that man just make his puns for the cooler bit ends and you listen to anyway. Hey! Hey! Scott was a cool one. The couch is actually pretty comfy, and maybe not comfier than your couch, but uh, alright. Good lumber support, you sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than your our couch. Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house. This guy seems a lot only cool, but he's just a just as uncomfortable with talking with other people as you are. Why am I relating to everybody I meet? You should totally become friends with me. Is this like actually a dating simulator or, or a dad meetup simulator? I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Come on, we should say uh, we meet new people. Uh, I can meet new people if I always stay inside and always don't go outside and never talk to new people. <laughs> See, we're making progress. So Matt uh, sets our drinks down on the table and immediately burn the roof in the mouth. Good one. Hi, new, new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda and this is my dad, Powder. Hey. Alright, pleased to meet you both. Hey. You had to come um, um, when my daughter's hanging around the shop. Is this dads and daughters all living here? Like, what are the fucking odds? Ugh. Around the shop, you two might get along. Hey, I'm sure we might I have some. <laughs> come Oh god, I can't breathe, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll meet maybe coming from, uh, uh, time to time. Mana kicks you my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be here a lot. Hey. You know what? Let me get a, you guys' um, opinion, your guys' opinion on something. Matt goes into the bag and comes with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Oh. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I want to have it taste tested first, so we can have uh, full flavor profile. You know, it's really appreciate the flavor sensation though. Nana nods at you and she knows this game. Yeah, we need to give the Nana bread, the Nana bread a taste. If you know what I'm doing for free creative labor, I might. I think about. I, would, uh, I can't read today. I've taught her well. We ate into this day. I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right, yes, that. Matt uh, serves us eat each a piece, and a man and I halfway chow yes. down. This is amazing. Thanks, my secret ingredient is bananas. Mm. Of course, dad jokes would be like that. So many ideas, I'm stumped. Well, I'm thinking of, of a couple of to give you. Dad band buns. Dad band buns. <laughs> you give dad band buns, <laughs> I'll give you, you a shot. Um, Amanda Bro. Banana bread entities, uh, grateful banana bread, the right said banana bread. I'm gonna go with that. Right, now is that actually was a nice ring to it. Really? Oh. Yeah. Right said banana bread, strong decision. That's art, baby. This guy is like groovy as shit. I'm gonna give him that. I'm not gonna be wrong. I'm I'm not gay, but that guy is handsome as shit. <laughs> I want to say a baby because I thought it would sound cool, cool but once. I said it, I realized it just sounded good coming out of my mouth. Doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should at least say baby in into the profession. Oh. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks. Maybe. Oh. See, it sounds good when you say it. Cross the You're on a man catches my eye, and he sits by himself. Brooding over the cup of coffee, our eyes meet just for a moment. This is really pushing on this. Honestly, I look away and hopefully he didn't catch me staring. Who who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of ca caffeine, we're off. We're two. We should get back to unpack. I gotta get back. A lot on my plate right now. Now uh, we're moving. Uh, we've got a lot on my plate. Did you know we're moving in one of the biggest sources of streets? Is it right behind the consent and fear that you smell all bad and so everyone's too polite to tell you? Probably. Do I smell bad? Amanda gives you a whip. Gives a whip. You're fine, Dad. Let's go home. Moving picture is in hand and help rush album. Uh, please remember to call all once in a while. 
Oh my god, this game is gonna get me to freaking cooperate a lot, isn't it? Because I'm already in this game for like almost four, almost about over 40 minutes. I get home and unpacking various boxes and living rooms a couple hours pass, and you, you see some good work done. The washer and dryer unit both wa washing and drying, and you can actually walk around the living room without toppling over boxes. Visitor already? Walk over to the door and open it. Hello! Handsome. A handsome, clean-cut man stands at the door, brandishing the plate of dude. This guy looks like a douche. I'll be honest, he looks like a douche. And he looks gay, even. Like, he even seems gay. The aura of gay. Like, I, I know gay people. Like, I, I don't know if I truly have a gay daughter, but I've been around gay people enough to know the difference. <laughs> Hell. Hello? Oh, where's my manners? My name is Joseph, the next door name. Oh yes, hi, I'm Powder. What's, what's, that's what my name is. <laughs> I saw you moving in the, why is my guy so awkward? Yet again, it fits. Uh, uh, I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring me some cookies. My daughter Christine wa wanted me to let you know she baked her them herself. Joe leans in and just, between you and me, she just sprinkled in some chocolate. Uh, and but, oh, share a laugh, kid, right? <laughs> Wow, cookies, huh? I like how she just comes right in, like, Ugh! like holding her hips, like, yeah. So, so nice to meet you. Joseph hands her a plate of cookies with a smile. Well, thanks for the cookies. And Amanda disappears with the cookies. Amanda, come back. She's and she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charm. <laughs> Daughters are f tough. Sons are, are also tough. Oh. Children in general are just tough. Just, I hear that. I mean, there have been something wrong, wrong with you trying to raise more than two. I have four kids. Ah! What have you done? Oh. Uh, I meant... Hmm. Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, that was the first name I've met in the social life. I'm already uh, in the tail pin. I wonder if it's too late to, mo to move again. Um, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, is the missus around? No, uh, not anymore. She died. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah. sorry for your loss. Oh no, it's all that. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acute aware of how awkward we both oh. made the case. I'm sorry, can you, uh, close the door real quick? Uh, I look at Joseph quizzically, but come flying, and after a second I hear a knock at the door opening and Joseph stands there with a huge oh. smile. Hey, I'm your neighbor Joseph. I promise to meet... Uh, to not talk about Ed's spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue in the cool sky. In cool sky, I love for you to come and meet with the rest of the neighbors in our community. What'd you say, pal? <laughs> it sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would I love to stop by. Also, four kids is pretty uh normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal on the deal. Huh. Well, neighbor, I see you at 3 p.m. Sure. So what today? What day is today? Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second, turns around. Oh. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be, can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm, I'm the youth minister of the church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't say I consider myself a youth. You look pretty young to me. I like how it's had to say his action, but you but suit yourself. And I like how he's flirting with me. <laughs> he's like... He's more upfront with the flirting, too. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seems nice. And Amanda walks back to the living room and comes over her face and cookies in her hand. That was the smoothest cover I've ever seen. I, sh I should take notes. See, you're already fitting in. Great. Where are those cookies going? Uh -huh. They're gone. I'm sorry. Right. It makes you feel any better. They weren't very good. So, you ate all of them anyway? I guess that makes it, it break time. Any ideas? Uh, Joseph probably wants his playback. I think we get a ton. Uh, I think we got a ton of good neighbor points. We'll bring this back. We're gonna be the best neighbors in this whole uh cool cool dick sock. Cool this cool the sock. I can't say that. Um, we're gonna kick all the other neighbors' butts with kindness. Okay, Amanda and I step outside. Shoot, I'm actually not sure where his house is. I hazard a guess the big one with a well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Good eye, kid. And remember, we need to make positive first impression here. Keep it tough, keep it light. Walk up to the kids and wait. Hey guys, is your dad around? Uh, he just, they just stare at us blankly. 
We just wanted to uh, return the, this p nice point. Thank you for the. Geez, these definitely are Joseph's kids. They look exactly like him. They're really good. These kids are creepy as shit. I'm gonna no, not lie. They were really good. Um, I mean, I mean, you heard they were good. I didn't eat and get it to eat it. <laughs> I chugged it all nervously. Well, okay, you're just gonna set the plate down the ground and real gently walk away slowly, right, Dad? Right. That's what we're gonna do. Kids, our eyes bore us into the scary way. I can feel their gaze on the back even approach the house. Uh, those kids are creepy as shit! I need something to get my mind off those th those carbon copy kids. I need to rest my eyes. You've been awake for what, three hours? And that's three hours too many. I relate so well. Oh god. God! <sighs> Nearly acceptable place for decaf coffee is in the trash. Oh god, guys, this game is really like wearing me. Ah! Uh, oh man, it's almost seven here. I need to hurry up and fit, wrap this video up. Uh, when this game responds, that is. And I, I hope it doesn't crash on me because I haven't saved yet. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's save. Right, guys, I'm gonna save right here because I don't have time to continue. And I'm saving. Okay, we're saving, we're saving, we're saving, and we're done. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to cut this video off now because I'll continue to this. I will actually continue this because I actually genuinely love this game. I hope you guys do too. And anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys later. I'll see you in the next episode of Dream Daddy. I'll catch you guys later. And stay nerdy, my friends. Bye bye!